Silicon can be extracted by reducing silicon dioxide with different substances. The equation for one possible reaction is 2Mg solid reacts with SiO2, also solid, and produces silicon in the solid state and also 2 magnesium oxide in the solid state. Calculate the minimum mass in grams of magnesium needed to completely reduce 1.2 kilograms of silicon dioxide. And we're presented with some relative atomic mass values as well, which we don't need to look for in the periodic table. There's two possible methods for doing this. Both obviously get us the right answer. I will do them both side by side, writing one of them in the main answer space, and that will be my preferred method, and I'll show the alternative method on the right-hand side. My preferred method has us setting it out as if there was a grid there, and there are five rows to my grid, with chemicals being the top row, and the chemicals of interest are magnesium, because that's what we've been asked to find the mass of, and silicon dioxide, because that is the thing that we've been given the mass for. And then the second row is mass in grams, the third is relative formula mass, the fourth is moles, and the fifth is the ratio which we get from the equation. The first thing that we need to do is recognise that when working with mass, MR and moles, our masses need to be in grams, and that suits as well because that is what our final answer needs to be in. And so we've been given 1.2 kilograms of silicon dioxide. We need to convert that into grams. A kilogram is 1,000 grams, so it's a 1,000 times bigger than a gram. So we need to multiply our mass in kilograms by 1,000, and we get 1,200 grams. And that would be our first mark out of five. And then we need to calculate the relative formula mass of silicon dioxide. And to do that, we take silicon, 28, and we add it to two lots of 16 because the formula is SiO2 and that little two belongs to the element that just went before it which is the oxygen. So 28 plus 16 plus 16 gives us 60 as our MR of silicon dioxide and that gets us our second marking point. And then for the third mark we need to work out the moles of silicon dioxide. And to do that, we need to use the relationship mass equals MR multiplied by moles. And so when we substitute those values in, we get 1200 grams equals 60 multiplied by moles. And then we rearrange this to find the moles of silicon dioxide and we get 1200 divided by 60, which gives us 20 moles of silicon dioxide. And then for the fourth mark, we need to work out the moles of magnesium, which would precisely react with 20 moles of silicon dioxide. And to do this, we need to return to the chemical equation. We can see from the chemical equation that two moles of magnesium react with one mole of silicon dioxide. Or in other words, however many moles of silicon dioxide we are using, we will need twice the number of moles for magnesium. And so what we need to do here is take the moles of silicon dioxide and multiply it by two. And this gives us 40 moles of magnesium. And then for the final mark, we need to work out what mass this number of moles of magnesium will have. And so again, we need to return to the mass equals relative formula mass multiplied by moles equation. This time we're using it in its more straightforward form because the mass of magnesium is what we want to work out. And this is 24 multiplied by 40, which gives us 960 grams of magnesium. And this would be our final mark out of the five. And so you can see both of my two methods get you the same answer. The one that I've chosen to show, the grid method, that gives us perhaps some nicer structure, which allows us to work out what to do next after each individual step along the way. And what you can see is we are working our way down the column for one of the chemicals, and then across to the column for the other chemical, and then back up the column for our unknown mass.